So here's where we are as of 4.30 in the afternoon on January 8th, the first significant rainfall day um, of this actual entire rain year. We're talking on the order of three to six inches perhaps in some of our coastal canyons and valleys um, in the perimeter of the um, Thomas fire, which you can see right here with, with the black. So we've been seeing some significant rainfall uh, beginning in the early morning hours of the uh, of this morning of the 8th of January and that's uh, not too much yet but over the course of the next 12 hours we're going to see some significant uh, amounts again on the order and, and the particular worry here is on uh, 15 when we have these these peak intense downfalls that occur um, the definition is over 15 minutes when you get at least 24 millimeters of rain basically a, a big dump in a short period of time. So this is the worry of what might happen during um, uh, one of those peak 15 minute bursts. This is some um, imagery from the USGS from the 2016 fish fire and it just illustrates over a short you know couple a minute or two of intense rainfall where at the bottom of these draws you can get significant um, uh, amounts of water and water mixed with sediment moving very, very quickly, and they can turn into a huge, disastrous flow, um, basically without warning. Now that disastrous flow comes from two things. First and foremost, the vegetation is gone off this hillside, and so, so then when the water hits it, it's just gonna run, run um, down the slope. But two, right after the burn, a lot of our fires, when they've exposed, been, a lot of our soils, excuse me, when they've been exposed to a lot of heat, actually bake and change. So you can get as much as half a foot or more of the soils becoming so-called hydrophobic, meaning um, with if we were at a site that wasn't burned, water would hit, and if we have a gentle rain like is starting already, that rain would a little bit of dribble, dribble, dribble down into the soil, a little bit more, a little more, more, more. But with hydrophobic soils, when the water hits, um, that water does not um, penetrate, doesn't go into the interstitial spaces um, around the soil, and instead it sheets off. So both we have the fact that we have a, a bare open uh, ground post fire, but also we've changed the chemistry of the soil. All this comes together. So this is a video from about uh, 15 minutes ago above Ventura. Um, all this comes together to produce the challenges that we have. Now we typically think of um, the, the runoff, the mud flows is impacting our streams, uh, steelhead and all of our uh, frogs and amphibians and, and critters like that at the bottom. But um, the other big one obviously is for folks when we have these wildfires like the Thomas fire, folks that are down at the bottom of these draws. Uh, in this case, this is downtown Ventura. This is one of the, our, our apartment buildings that burned uh, during the Thomas fire. And so these guys now that are at the bottom of this um, draw now are potentially exposed to, to catastrophic debris flows. Again, this is the problem where all of a sudden this water, soil, sediment mix comes down suddenly. And uh, so not a safe place to be just at the bottom of these draws. And as we go into tonight, again, the peak challenge is going to be uh, over uh, sort of the, the early morning hours when we'll get some potentially really intense downpours. And that's when these folks will be most exposed, most dangerous. Ideally, we would have had a little bit of rain um, for a few weeks and let some of the hydro seeding take off. That hasn't happened yet. So again, in summary, this translates into all kinds of headaches and challenges for not just the plants and animals in our surrounding coastal foothills, but also for the folks that are living at the bottom of these burn scars, uh, especially folks in and around Ojai, folks in and around downtown Ventura, Santa Paula, and then the folks uh, proximate to Carpinteria, Montecito, La Conchita, uh, those areas. So we'll see how things go. Hopefully we'll have relatively mellow rains and we won't have significant disturbance to um, wildlife, our hydrological ecosystems, or our built infrastructure here in Southern California in the wake of the Thomas Fire.